Okay, so uh, what are we doing? Oh, we're making some uh, magic items for Gimpy. And we're also making some dwarven hammers for our dwarf, dwarven smiths, so make their jobs a little bit easier. And after that, we are going to be heading down to. Well, we're going to be heading over to. So we got all these thrones of ascension around here. Those two, three. We were going to head down to this one from Van High. We could go up there, though. I mean, troops are there. 130. Heavy infantry, militia, and light infantry. Maybe we can do that way. You'd pick up some reinforcements here, though. Kind, I don't know, because we're already recruiting, so we'll get there. Okay, so I think that's it for the turn. There's our scout. We're in into two factions over here. Still exploring. That's it. Next turn. So research is conjuration. The conjuration has completed. So that was conjuration two. So nothing special, really. Some small stuff. Oh, some storm power, water power. Ten of the storm through a mage. Blah. Enables the mage to cast more powerful air magic spells. The spell only works during the storm. Only well, works during a storm? How do you know it's a storm? <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, bear shades. Too terribly horrible there yet. You just found two magic sites here. So, Enchanted Tomb and Veil vale of the Silver Cattle. So, Enchanted Tomb, of course, is going to be one death gem per turn, and this is going to be green. Nature? Oh. 200 supply points. Province income is increased by 100, or is plus 100. Increases growth by a maximum of 2. So, just grows population faster? Yes. Anyway, temple's built. That's built. Uh, now we go back to... Uh, do we need to go back to Vanheim? We can actually just have one of the other commanders bring the stuff to us. We'll save a little bit of time. We can take this in the, in the time being. Let's do that. Okay, so... You guys. Set. 133. Beat up on them. Magic items are done. Oh, now we have to bring those up to get me. That's fine. So you're fire. Earth. Glamour. So you get a hammer. death. So you get a hammer too. So any of the dwarves that have a different magic set, they get a hammer. Another fire one? Sure. So what are these hammers? These are dwarven hammers. Forge bonus of two. What does that mean? Well, Mage is very efficient when forging magic items. The bonus is the cost reduction in gems. So it takes less gems now to make stuff because they have those hammers. Can they dual wield them? I don't know. Can you deal with these? Yes, you can. Does it work, though? I don't think it works, though. For 
first time he messed this up. So he's got his, he's got his, and on the other flame dwarf, fire dwarf, sorry. He's got his too. Okay, so there's the three hammers. Now he's just to build up our earth gems again. So, you guys, back to research. And solve is the one that uh, carts stuff around for us. Again, here's our other dwarf. To research. Solve. You gotta bring Gimpy's stuff over to him. Along with reinforcements. Look at all those reinforcements. They're going to end up over there, so you go this way. Do you have any troops who can recruit here that's going to help? Not really. Archers. It's going to take two turns to get there, right? So that'll be fine. That's a turn to take it. Another turn to build a the temple and search, and then another two turns again. Yeah, we're going to probably be sitting here for a little bit, maybe. We'll see. Anyway. We'll save our money up a little, for a little while. We don't need to do any recruiting right at the moment. We're still exploring. You guys haven't expanded very far, which is good for me, because it gives me a chance to, you know, take stuff over here. You. And search. Keep the one I found two items. Searched. Unexpected event occurred in Jira. The sage has come to study the manifestations of the plague. Yelling on, on the sage has joined. So that would be that guy. Sage of students, the magic sphere. Uh, they are not magically powerful, but excel at spell research. 15 is not too bad. Adapter Searcher. Okay. So go over to the capital. You know, go work over there. So then where's our new dwarf? Here. Ready? Set him up. I thought we had a new dwarf. Still not here yet. Next. Okay, next turn. Oh, that's Sage. I guess I should set him up for combat stuff, shouldn't I? Just in case. Battle on Vocan. So I lost... What's this? Oh, never mind. Those are berserkers. Lost another horses. Ugh. I should probably move Gimpy over here a little bit more so his dogs don't get caught up in the infantry. Come on, Valkyrie. Where are you? Summoning the trees. Poor tree. Get him, piggy.
Okay, so that. Baybor is now fully reformed and lives once again. Yes, our boars are Im immortal. They keep coming back. Okay, that's a new dwarf. You? Oh, he's at all earth. Cool. So might be able to do some interesting stuff, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, specific spells. Personal iron skin. Temper the armors of your friends. Get them strong, too. And that'll be it. Alf. Alf is the new dwarf. Forging magic items. We should give him a dwarven hammer, but. Actually, we can do this. This one? Yeah, this one has a hammer. We'll give that one to Alf. See what Alf can do with that. Not with magic gems. Well, what else can you do? The pebble pouch. Boots of giant strength. Earth magic five. Sorry, earth magic one cost of five. Can we make him? Yes, we can. Because the hammer. Is forge bonus of two. And how many gems did we have? Didn't eat up any real gems, did it? We barely had enough to make those uh, boots. Eh, not gonna complain. More dwarves. Okay, keep your friends up here. Magic sites, and you build a temple for us. And our little scholar. He does magic. Does Blink do? And then. Transports him to another position on the battlefield of Mount Diff, and he is also blinked away, or blinked with him. This is kind of like luck, right? Cheek Fate negates the first successful strike against one uh, protected by the spell. Twist Fate. Uh, so, first of all, so this is basically the same thing, but only for himself, so that's what we want. Body Ethereal. So it doesn't hit so much. Astral shield. More percentage around the mage. Anyone trying to strike to the will have their mind blasted to unconscious by the force of the shield. Magic resistance can negate that stuff. So basically paralysis. So astral shield. And then cast spells. He'll be fine. Need more archers. I'm debating whether I should have these guys go up there, but leaving the archers here. Because <laughs> they'll be there next turn, they can come down this way. 
I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to go straight from here to high peaks, but I don't want to do that. We need to bring up the extra troops. But these archers. I'm going to recruit a commander real quick. Just drag them up here real, real fast, no big deal. Just have these guys go up here. Yeah, look, more archers. <coughs> Excuse me. So pick them up on the way up there. Okay, so. Anybody doing research and forging something? Fine. So our scout go that way. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of a coughing fit. Okay, next turn. Research Conduration completed. That was number three. I'm going to follow five. Hey, Mary Cat, welcome back. Coffee. Coffee? A little too late to be drinking coffee, isn't it? Automatic Sight and Vocan. A burial mount. Finding all this death stuff. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff here. You got Turtle Village. It was a group of Turtle Warriors and Turtle Chiefs. Burial Mound, that's Death Gem per turn. And a Wind Spire. This is one Air Gem. We can use that. So, do we find more stuff? Didn't find anything. Where do we find those Air Gems? It's keep only found one, so I must have been just laid out in the open. So I've lost their mounts, I've deserted or died. Whereas the mounts have had their way have made their way back home and are ready to be recruited again. Anyway. Temple built. Other stuff. So go down here and eat them. And you guys. There. Currently defending. Let's research some more archer or recruit some more archers, not research, recruit. It's that. We're headed over to this uh, throne of ascension here soon. Next turn or two. So solve your waiting. This guy made it back here, so he gets to research. Another dwarf, Alf. He was making something. Yeah, he made boots. Can't really make anything magical at the moment, so I'll go back to researching. More dwarves. Just keep exploring. Got a big world to explore still, although I think that's the southern end. Good. Good. Next turn. Oh shoot, he didn't move. Oh, solve. Never mind. Solve is good. Airmore. Oh, the undead are walking around. Thor's most uh, feared killer of men shall hereby be known as the Prophet of Fod, the Lord of Rainbows, he who seals the gates of death, the knight of the crossroads, at the crossroads, the king, oh, sorry, the king at the crossroads, he who is on the mountain. 
Maybe he's not the, the undead ones. Middle Ages, Amor was undead, right? I think. Or is it late? I, I never get that. I never remember that. Look, another dwarf. Okay. The dwarf. We just got to get, you know, more and more research, so the dwarves are always welcome. Because they're cheap, inexpensive research. Here over there. Okay, so he's getting the archers. Gairod is. Gairod, yeah, yeah, whatever his name is. So you get those. You get those. And then the solve. So the broadsword guys, they go down with Gimpy. So now they go here. Sorry. Spears and javelins, those go with Gimping. It's these guys, right? Yep. Okay. These are the axes and javelins. They go down there too. These are the berserkers. They go there. These are the skin shifters, and they go there. Okay, that works. And solve. You get to go home. Did you bring any presents? You brought a present for Gimpy, and we have two presents actually. Gimpy now has his uh, Sword of Sharpness and Lead Shield, as well as his Blackened Helmet and Blackened Full Plate. So, protection is 25. Sword of Sharpness is 39 damage, so it's better than his Quarterstaff. He's got Magic Resistance from that Lead Shield. Right? Where's his Resistance? Magic Resistance is 28. So he's pretty uh, hefty now, I think. What's this magic look like? Now he's doing the arrows. He's done area effect one. I don't know who that's landing on though, usually. So no more spells. We all just uh, attack. After you cast those spells, you just go in and join the frag. Why not? Right? He's nothing. He's not that great, but he's fairly durable. I think he's blessed, of course. So he's got all that stuff going for him. He's got the withering weapons. He's got glamour on. He's a pretender god. I mean, he still needs some better stuff, but. I think he'll be more... I don't think his magic is that great currently. Because he's not... Uh, well, maybe. Enlarge. Cast a specific spell. So 
the evocation. He's only getting death magic, glamour, nature, and astral. Healing light, though. Cascade of warm and wonderful light showers that targets wounds, clothes, and the light, and pain ease. The spell doesn't affect undead or inept. Hmm. Wish you could tell him to cast that one. It's necessary. Eh, maybe we'll just let him sit back and won't drain them so much with magic and stuff. So body ethereal, personal lock, mirror image, and venom arrows. Yeah, shoot. Those are the berserkers, but then there, these are the skin shifters. Now, we'll see how this goes. He can still do blessing and stuff, so he's fine. Of course, these guys are doing the same thing. Have them step forward just a little bit. Now there's a far flight and two shots. Hopefully that'll help. I guess he doesn't need to do blessing the sermon encourages the other one is. So let's take those off. So the far flight should be and it's gonna be cast on whoever's closest, I guess. Go from there. Let's we'll see how it goes. Okay, so you guys, um, are we ready? So Saul's going that way. This guy, he's got nothing to do, so we'll send him back there. And then there's the army. So are we looking at for a force? 188. So. Plus magic, so we're good. Glamour, too. So, go beat up on these heavy infantry, militias, and light infantry. So, no range units. That's good. Next, the scout. Sea of Silence. Who's over here? Owned by Oceana. Black Harbor. Go there. So you're protecting that area, researching, researching, all kinds of research, and we're still recruiting dwarves, so we're good. Next turn. He just died during the march. There's a battle on high peaks. So we lost seven to their 90. That was 130 or something. So the priest got two kills. How did the priest get two kills? Not sure how that happens. So archers. So we lost three. Ah, the boars. They'll, they're immortal. They'll come back. It's not too bad. But he lost a Valkyrie and a skin shifter. I haven't changed their... I want them to actually be attacking our other archers. Somebody summoning the undead or something. These guys are. Oh, they were. Southern the commander. That's... Banner the Conjurer. So this is the guy summoning the undead. Death magic. 
And he's floating for some reason. Oh, that's how the priest got on kills. He was killing on dead with his little beams of light. That's how he got a kill. Oh, look at that guy. He's gonna. F oh, Valkyrie. He'll be fine. Okay, so I'll explain. I'll get two kills. Sorry. Over there. The Rainbow Throne is here. So increases luck by a maximum of two. The throne must be claimed to gain the following effects. Ascension points one, Dominion spread one, brings 100 gold per turn, produces one glamour gem per turn, and one water gem per turn. It's not too bad. So construct temple. Uh, we'll do a search, see what else is here. Then we will claim, we will build a fort and everything here, I think. And things are, Dominion's doing pretty good. Okay. Exploring. Solve. You are back to researching. one. No do dwarfs. Then we're going to get a dwarf this turn. Next turn. We can have Kanga go over here. And uh, do I want to do that? Kanga has got troops, I think. There's Kanga. Kanga is our main defense here. Never mind. You're guarding our capital. There's one of our pigs that came back. To life. So I guess we should work on defenses here. So just those guys. So those guys being you, you, and you. All right. Doesn't seem right. Skin shifter, yeah. Skin, I was say, skin shifters, berserkers, and the other. Oh, these are spheres. Yep, that's fine. Okay, just work on the defense a little bit. And next turn. Your session conjuration is completed, so we're up to level four. So now we can go to the sloth of bears. We need six nature gems, and we have that. Awaken the Draugr, too. Those are undead. It's all the stuff. Level five. Corpse Candle. Revive a Bane Lord. Those are always fun to have walking around. We just don't have a whole lot of undead stuff, is all. We don't have a way of creating our own, like uh, was it Airmore does. We have to summon ours the old-fashioned way. Uh, so I found a magic site, Song of Birds. Song of Birds is... Oh, we got all this stuff here. It's a Song of Birds. One Glamour Gem per turn, and Witch's Bog, Water, and Death Gems. So the temple's been built. Claim the throne. So we'll get the bonuses from that. Which again is increases luck. 
And then we get uh, Center Point, of course, Dominion Spread, 100 gold per turn, and a Glamour Gem and a Water Gem on top of what's already here. So that. Dominion's already really strong. Palisade. Oh, yeah, you can build a Palisade. And then you can build a laboratory. There we go. So this will be our little new new base of operations on this side, at least. Because we want to protect this uh, rainbow throne. Because it's an ascension thing we have to keep a hold of if we want to win the game. There's another one up there. And there's two more down here. Next. Don't know. Mercenaries. I need somebody to protect this place, though. Nor bring Nor up here. Not the new commander because he doesn't lead a whole lot, only 50. Nor is 100. 100 regular troops, 20 magic, and no one dead. That's okay. New dwarf is here. Not a death dwarf. Summon the earth power. Ah, revigoration, so yes, do that. Personal iron skins, you don't die too quickly. Let's do Giant Strength. Temperate Armors. And what else? Let's do a little bit of a Frightening. And then just do Spells. So this is for defense. So you guys are there. These are the shin skin shifters. These are the berserkers. And the piggy. I guess the piggy can join them, I guess. Piggy we want kind of on the side, so. Skin shifters? Skin shifters. Golden fire. These guys don't have javelins. Oh, they do. Oh, this is a... I guess that's okay. The solve have. He's got the 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 range stuff. He's got true shot, far flight. That's what we wanted. Don't 
um, so we want um, our flight, two shot, and then personal lock, right? A personal flight. Okay, and then he's just doing staying behind troops and casting spells. Actually, let's hold these guys back here. Okay. So, more recruiting. Could use some more javelins, though. I think what I have to do is, um, because he cannot control three, so we have to uh, play around with their setup here. How many of these do I actually have? So that's that. These are basically our front liners up here. These are front liners down here too. I guess we can mix them in with the berserkers. Or the skin shifters stay off to the side a little bit. Keep them there. Have you guys in front? Yeah, skin shifters with the boar. They can do that. Yep, yeah, that'll work. Again, this is defense. This is our capital. The chance of it being attacked is fairly slim at this point. So we'll have time to react if we have to. Dun, dun, dun. Next, next, explore. Let's go back up this way. Okay, next turn. Let's claim the throne of... Throne of Thorns, in the name of Uriel, the conceivable god, the first angler, master of education and science. <laughs> it's an interesting combination. Uh, Gimpy, who knows all, blah, 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 has claimed the rainbow throne. So that's us. Gimpy, god who knows all things, king of kings, lord of stellar lights. The rainbow throne. The units have now fully reformed their bodies and live once again. Those would be the boars. So now we're building a palisade here, defending, defending, no unrest. Guess we could go out and build, beat stuff up while palisades are being built. And we create a new priest too, so they can come along and build the temples after we've, you know, done our thing. So the Black Marshes, 90 units, long deads and ghouls. So we definitely want to bring priests in there. Although Gimpy is not a priest. But Jared is. He's a level 3 priest. He could zap them forever. Because he just sits back and casts spells. Hmm. I'm just trying to decide which way do I want to go. Because again, there's two more thrones down here. 
There's one up there, though. But these two are really close together. We should go that way. So we'll go through the Black Marches. It'll be fine. Next turn. Die down the march. Quit dying on us. There's a battle on the Black Marches. Marshes. So we lost a Valkyrie. And another 4C probably. Gonna be lots of lights in this one. Lots of zapping. Getting to change them, I screwed up. Not that it matters against them dead, but Five kills. Archer said ten. Valkyries and them still had a lot. Guess it was that. Handles discovered and attacked in it. No! Did he die? He got away. <laughs> you cheat details. Handle was killed when retreating. Really? People suck. He survived and getting away from them, but he died once he got, out, got away. Strong. I need a new scout. Next. You'll be fine. And we have a priest, so you're coming down here to build a temple. And while we're waiting for you, we'll search for magic sites. Anything good here? A slinger. So the answer would be not really. Okay, Norris here now. Wait on the recruitment stuff, I think. Do some researching. Another three Earth Dwarf. So, you guys, so piggies, you guys go here. Although, I'm definitely, eventually, need to get them up to the forward army for supply reasons, but yeah. Anyway. Skin shifters, berserkers. Try to merge them into a that group.
get the piggies back up to the forward lines. So that would be Modek's job. Modek. Because he's got nothing better to do other than twiddle his fingers all day. Stay behind the troops. You guys. Um, attack. Archers. Ah, eh, close to seven. That hopefully they don't see combat, because that would not be good. Well, it wouldn't be bad for them, because they're just going to come back to life, but Modic would die, probably. That would be not good. So, Modic, you are going this way. Breeze coming this way, you guys are searching. Defending. What's that? Are we doing the reach down recruiting stuff? Okay, so we got to have a scout. A dwarf coming up. What resource resources are? Anyway, next turn. Oh, sorry for the off. Okay, so found two magic sites. So Windspire, Enchanted Tomb, Battlefield, and Dancing Lights. That's more than two. Windspire, so it's one air gem per turn. Enchanted Tomb, death gem per turn. A battlefield. More death gems. Dancing Lights, Glamour Gems. So we're getting it worth to eight death gems per turn. You didn't really look good hey, stuff Gimli, about. It is time to take a break. Uh, Temple has not This been break supports the purchase of Rocket's treats. If you would like to help Rocket feel like a puppy again, please visit gimpyneecom slash support or type exclamation point treats in chat. Thank you. Yep, thank the you. The stream ends in one hour. You are welcome. <laughs> now, please stop talking to me. <sighs> It is kind of creepy. It's very creepy. So, we're trying to get our way down to here to these thrones. I didn't expect them to get here so quick, but... This will have a fortress eventually. We need defenses, though. Some regularly heavy infantry to keep them happy. Maybe... We have a priest, so we're good. Building palisades and Norse doing research. He's doing the search. I'm oh, sorry, search has been done. So he doesn't need to go somewhere. Where should they go? See, if we take these territories, it'll discourage him from trying to expand into this area. Take this. What are we looking at? Militias, heavy infantry, and archers. We can take them pretty quick, I think. And then we can come back and go this way. We can do that. Yeah, we'll take this, and then we'll kind of like do a loop. Or curve, whatever. And come back through this way. And pick up all these other territories as we go. It'll be a little slow, but because we have to build temples and whatever, but it'll get done. This is our scout, right? Yep. So, our other scout got caught. So, your job is to come down this way and see what's down here. Good. You're fine. So that's the end of our turn, actually. So I'm just going to get up, stretch my legs, get some water, and uh, again, this is the last break of the stream. I will be back in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching, and enjoy the dog and kitten video. <laughs>